two of the dome build and we've just created this door frame within the door. So we took this bit was like this. So we've removed this section and fixed all these pieces in and then eventually we will have a fully wooden door in this area here. But the next thing we have to do is put the cover on so we're going to have a go at that now. This is really stressful. It says do it with four people. We've only got two. We can't ask anybody because we're in self-isolation, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, so we're just having to use the tractor and uh, basically do our best. But there's a lot of cover still here to get over. So, um, so we will keep going. Well, that was a minor mission and a half but we've just about got the cover on we still need to sort the door out and put in this panoramic window pane but you get the idea now of what it's gonna look like pretty cool the covers all done and we managed to get the window bit on but because we bought this solar vent, um, we need to now fit that in, but we should have done it before we put the cover on. So we're having to re-pull the cover up to fit the panel, this panel that goes up where the solar vent's gonna go. And um, yeah, have a go at that. So we managed to get the plate in, and now we're just poking through all the bolts so that we can then cut the hole in the canvas and then this solar panel will fit on the outside of the dome and then there'll be a fan on the inside so it's nice and refreshing in here. So this is the uh, monstrosity of a solar vent. I'm not really happy with how it looks on the outside or the inside, but it is a necessity. It will keep it cooler in there and let the air flow go through so it is a necessity um but it's such a lovely evening up here this is the reason why i just love it up here in the summer because you get just such lovely sunsets i'm just going to sit here for a minute if i had the hammocks it'd be even better so we found the first panel i need to go Ah. 
All the insulation's done now and it does look really nice, I think. It looks more plush and hopefully it'll be warmer in the winter and cooler in the summer. Um, we've kept it really neutral so that we can design it how we want to. And the next thing to do is the curtains, which are in this bag. And we've gone for a similar nice neutral shade. So hopefully it'll all look nice. I'm just putting the finishing touches to the curtains. They're designed to fit exactly in the panoramic window gap. So they've even got bolts that go through the insulation so they can tuck quite neatly down here. And um, yeah, they do quite a good job of blocking out the light. So you, if you're staying here, then it won't be blinding light and also it gives a bit of privacy. So yeah, I'm, I'm really pleased with them. We also now have a door, so we um, these struts had to go up and to hold in the door frame. <clears throat> this, to be honest, isn't going to be the door that ends up being here. This is the one they supplied, but it's a bit flimsy and I just don't like it, so we'll probably replace it with something different. But for now, at least we can hook it closed. I didn't film any of the door going in because Daryl the carpenter came and did it for us, and as we're all on isolation. We just kind of let him get on with it, bless him. So we just gave him the instructions and told him to crack on. Um, and he did a great job, so thanks, Daryl. So here it is, the finished dough. So we'll just go through the door. I'll tell you my plans for it. So I'm hoping to get a double bed in here. Maybe, Brian, if you want to lie down so you can demonstrate how long a double bed will be. <laughs> So this is where the double bed's going to be. Then we'll have the wood burning stove in here and then hopefully a nice table and chairs in front of the window and a futon in here. And hopefully it'll be a really lovely space and um, everyone will enjoy staying here. So in our next episode, we will, actually, I've got no idea. I have no idea Because either. it's whether we can get supplies to finish off the hut. It's whether we can get anybody in to help us with the hut. Um, so watch this space. We'll see what happens next. Like and subscribe. <laughs>